Workers in Naperville racing against time, hoping to salvage homes already damaged by Sunday night's tornado. Jim Williams is there live. Jim, rain will surely make things worse for some homeowners hardest hit. Yeah, Brad, you see the uh, blue tarp there, the boarded up windows, homeowners scrabbling to seal up before the rain comes. So in the last 48 hours, we've just been going around this block. On this one block alone in Naperville. Because the entire side of the home got completely torn off. Chad Mogan tells us his home restoration service has patched up 12 houses. A lot of just tarping and boarding to make sure the rain stays out. And we want to make sure that the homes are all safe and livable at least for the homeowners so that they can, you know, keep these homes and they don't have to be condemned. Nearly three days after the tornado knocked out windows and punched holes in roofs, it's a race against time, trying to beat the rain, which would make a difficult situation here much worse. Because if the rain gets in through these tarps or just through the actual foundation of the home, then the house is completely useless and will have to be torn down. Top of this roof and up on the top of the main roof. Homeowner Aaron DeMent stayed ahead of the rain, making sure a hole in his roof was covered before the downpour. Yeah, this was good timing. Volunteers are working furiously, clearing away down trees. Among the 231 structures that were damaged here in Naperville, 143 with major damage. Yeah, working really, really hard. Even working through a light afternoon drizzle. Yes. Jamal Jones is with the World Mission Society Church of God. They've been out here three days. We had a little bad weather earlier, but rain, snow, we'll be here to help the people no matter what type of weather. City crews will be out here cleaned up until 8 o'clock tonight. They promise to work through this wet weekend. We're live in Naperville. Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. To learn more about the rain, here's Mary Kay Kleiss. And Jim, as you know, we have warm winds out there now, some sunshine out there right now, but our satellite radar tracker is showing that tonight will be dry and generally clear. We cloud up in the morning and then we watch our first wave of rain. That wants to head our way by lunchtime. So throughout the afternoon tomorrow, we will see increased chances for downpours and even a few embedded thunderstorms. We're not done yet, though. This system is actually going to stall across our state. That's why we are bringing in rain chances during the day tomorrow, keeping rain chances during the day Friday, even into Saturday as well. Our precipitation tracker is really enhancing the rain, especially south of I-55, giving us two to maybe four inches of rain. This is a three day event, Brad, and we are holding that rain chance at about 70%. Even beyond that, we have showers in the forecast too. We'll break down this storm hour by hour of when it arrives and how how it will react to the atmosphere that we have in place right now because things are going to get pretty windy and pretty wet around here.